Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about some faded mate romances. I love faded mate romances, it's one of my favorite things to read about. I am a firm believer in like soulmates and so this is just a trope that I adore reading about. I feel like faded mates is also a very popular trope in the romance book world. It's one of my I think top five viewed videos on my entire channel was the previous video that I've made. So I'll link it down below if you want to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. So I'm very excited to give you some recommendations. So when we're talking about series in general, obviously Ruby Dixon falls into the category of fate and mate romances. I've already talked about in my previous video her Ice Planet Barbarian series, which is my favorite by her, but we also have to mention the Fireblood Dragon series, which is her dragon shifter post-apocalyptic romance series. This is also alien-esque. So these are Draconi aliens, which are humanoid creatures, hum humanoid aliens, but then they can also shift into dragon forms. The first book in the series is Fire and His Blood. And this one is about a human woman named Claudia. And in this world, it's our earth, but it is where one day a rift opened up in the sky and dragons started flying through and like decimating the entire world with fire. And there's only a few human camp survivors on the planet. And so Claudia is one of the humans who have survived. However, um, the camp that she's in decides to put her up as a sacrifice to a dragon. And that dragon is the hero of the story and he turns into a humanoid person. And they're like, what the heck? And he saves Claudia and they fall in love. I know some people actually prefer the Fireblood Dragon series to IPB. So if you weren't that big of a fan of IPB, I would definitely check out this series um or just check out this series in general because i personally love it it's like 10 books long it's already completed so you can go marathon your way through them the draconi have um an ability to scent their mate so they know when they smell a human that they know that that specific person is their mate and yeah, the only way you can like talk to humans, the Draconi can, is telepathically. That's the only way that they communicate. They do not communicate verbally, but they can't communicate telepathically unless you're an A, another dragon, or B, your fate and mate who has been bitten and poured like the venom into your body. There's sometimes language barriers in here because they can't communicate until they bite the woman. Or in one case in this series, my favorite book is where the dragon is a woman and the human is a man. I love that one. But this series is just really fun, really great, and I love the Fade and Mate aspect in here. Next is my only fantasy romance recommendation for this video. I'm sorry if you want more fantasy romance recs, that first video is going to be down below for you. Um, so this is the Between Dawn and Dusk series by Jamie Schlosser. I've only read technically three books out of this five book series. So the first book is The Fae King's Curse. So this series is about these fae creature, fae, fae creatures, fae people, <laughs> and they have faded mates. And specifically in this series, you have these princes who have been cursed since they were children or since they were born by these witches to be blind and not be able to see until they find their fated mate. And so it's about these fae princes trying to find their fated mate. I've read book one, The Fae King's Curse, which was really great. This is a like childhood friends to lovers romance. That's just great with amazing twist on there. I love it. And then I've also read the prequel, which is about the hero from books one, book one's parents falling in love. And this one's rivaling family, like Romeo Juliet-esque. And then book two is The Fae King's Dream, which is about a fae um, prince, one of the fae princes I was talking about, who can dream jump, like jumps into other people's dreams. And he finds out that his mate is this human woman in a coma. And he ends up like going into her dreams when she's in a coma and trying to find her and wake her up from this coma. And then I haven't read book three yet. Um, that's another one where this fae prince tries to find his mate. And then book four is interesting. I hate to say this, but it's very like Renesmee Jacob-esque. I haven't read this one yet, but that's what it gives me vibes of, of where like the the couple from book one have a baby and the hero from book four, the one that I'm talking about, he is the like soldier right-hand man to the guy from book one, the king. And when their baby is born, he knows immediately that their baby is his mate and he like runs away. <laughs> and like escapes so he doesn't have to like think about it because it's a freaking baby. <laughs> And so this book takes place years later where she is all grown up and they get together or whatever. Um, I can't wait to read that one, but I still have to read book three and book four. So I don't know why that one just gave me a lot of Renesmee and Jacob vibes. <laughs> Another series is an alien romance series. This is the Calcanian series by Victoria Aveline. First is Choosing Theo, my favorite book in the series. I love it. This is an alien romance series between human women who have been illegally abducted from Earth and they get crushed on this planet 
planet called Calcania, and it's about each of them finding their mate with a alien man on this planet. And so choosing Theo is great. It's a like marriage of convenience romance. We have a plus size, hilarious heroine named Jade. I love her. And Theo is a grump. She's a sunshine. I've read all the way up to book four. I'm going to be reading book five and book six very soon. But yeah, this series is just really great for alien romances. And I feel like like a great series for starter alien romances if you want to get into them. Another series that I have with aliens is the Interstellar Bride Program by Grace Goodwin. However, not all of the books in this series is like the faded mate, faded mate thing we we think about when we think of fated mates, you know? Um, this series is about human women who have been put in the mail order bride program, but for aliens. So they get shipped off to an alien and they take this test that matches them with person who is like over 90% compat, 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 compatible, compatible. There you go, compatible with them. And so it's not 100% all of these books have a fate and mate aspect, just like, oh, this person will work well with you, blah, blah, blah. But there are books in this series where there legitimately are fated mates. First is Tamed by the Beast by Grace Goodwin. This is book number seven in the Interstellar Bride Program series. You can read these books completely standalone, by the way. I maybe read book one in the series just so you can get a little bit of world building, but other than that, read them on your own for your heart's content. But this is the romance between Tiffany and Deke. Deke is a part of this alien species that has a beast mode. So kind of like you grow into like the Hulk, but not green, but like you, you like get into your mode where you're like big and beasty and ginormous. And it could be kind of dangerous at times. Sometimes they're not able to control their beast mode. They get into this mode where they're really angry. And then when they are not able to find their fated mate. So their bodies, each of this alien species, I forget the species name, um, but their bodies are kind of like on a timer where if you're not able to find your fated mate by a specific time, you go into beast mode and you can't shift back into your regular alien person physique, whatever. And a lot of the time with this alien species, if you cannot find your fate of mate by a specific time, you will be put down because you are a danger to society. You'll want rampant on the streets killing people because your beast is out of control. Tiffany has been put in the Interstellar Bride program. She finds out that Deke is her fated mate because they have fated mates, specifically this alien race does. Her fated mate is about to be put down because he is in beast mode and they have not been able to find his fate of mate. And so she goes to his alien planet to make sure he does not die. This one was just super fun, really great. There's triggerings in here though for drugging, death, and murder, so please be aware of that, but this one was just great. It's one of my favorites in the series. But another alien species in this series that have fated mates claiming his virgin, which is book number 0.5 in the Interstellar Bride sub-series, the Virgin series. And so yeah, this series has fated mates as well. We have human women living on this planet and one of them um, is our heroine named Helen. The planet that this one is, I know the planet name, this is Everest. Everest actually has faded mates in there. And so she ends up getting matched to an alien. He kind of like tells her to meet him for the first time with a blindfold on. She's like, uh, okay, but she agrees. She finds and meets with him with a blindfold on. The guy that she ends up meeting is Z. And he doesn't really reveal at first why she's wearing a blindfold, but for their first couple meetings, he has her wear a blindfold and not being able to see. And that's because Z has been very scarred in this intergalactic war. And so he's very heavily scarred in his face and a lot of women and children are scared of him and he never wants his fated mate to be scared of him. So he has her wear a blindfold so she's not afraid. But then obviously Helen does not give a crap what he looks like, she loves him scars and all and it was so great i really love this one and other books in the series that have this cover has fated mates in them a book that i read with another alien fated mates is uh rescued by her alien mate by ava york and star huntress this is the first book in the warriors of tadali series this gives me a lot of ipv vibes just by the way but not ice it's not on a nice planet um but it's very similar in the vibes and the beginnings of it like human women crash on this planet um, after being abducted and there's a language barrier there and there's faded mates and everything. I want to read the rest of the series. I haven't read any other books in the series. That's why I'm only recommending book one because I haven't read any, any of the other ones. But yeah, in this series, each uh, character or couple gets a faded mate bond and they find their faded mate with one of the human women who have crashed. And yeah, this one gives me a lot of the first book in the series in IPB vibes so take with that what you will another alien one is ensnared by tiffany roberts katon and ivy are totally fated mates i freaking love them katon is an alien spider creature and he lives on his planet full of other alien spider creatures and he ends up across this abandoned spaceship in the woods or not woods in the jungle it's a jungle and then in the spaceship when he's like looking through it he ends up across all of these like space pods 
with people in cryo sleep, he accidentally wakes up Ivy and he's very interested in her, but thinks she's a pet at first, takes her back to his like what nest and is like, you're gonna be my pet or whatever. And then realizes she's an actual like woman sentient being. She is not an animal, she's not a pet. And he's like, oh no. <laughs> and then they fall in love. But the other two books in the series also follows Katon and Ivy. So their, their book does not like their romance does not end after this book. There's kind of like a cliffhanger at the end of this book. Please don't let the spider part freak you out because like, I hate, hate spiders, but I love this. One that I know other people love that I was like okay with, but I know that other people love it, so I'm going to recommend it to you, is another alien romance book. This is Entered in the Alien Bride Lottery by Margot Bond Collins. This first book in the Conavai, Conavai Warriors Bride Games. This is the romance between Natalie and Cab in this time aliens have been protecting earth from other evil alien creatures and natalie is a human woman who has been drawn kind of like hunger Games style on national television to be a part of the bride alien bride lottery which is about like aliens trying to woo women on this reality tv show cab is one of the guys who's in the show too but then he sees natalie at first and is like oh my gosh, she's actually my fated mate and tries to woo her essentially. But Natalie doesn't want to be married at all. So there's that. It's basically like the Hunger Games and the selection together, but an adult romance and with aliens. So yeah. A favorite of mine from this year is Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett. This is about Tegan and Atlas. Tegan is a human woman. Atlas is like this wolfish creature you see on the cover. It's basically like our world. This book is like take place in our world, but if monsters also existed in like lived amongst humans. Atlas is one of the monster creatures and Tegan is a baker. She owns a bakery on this street and Atlas owns a gym on the same street. She ends up carrying one of her cakes that she's made to the truck to go deliver the cake, but it ends up falling to the layers of falling over and splat right in front of Atlas who's walking down the street. He ends up helping her save the cake, clean it up and all that jazz. And he wants to see her again. He's very interested in her. And then Tegan is like, I'm, I'm interested in him too and finds a great excuse to see him again, which is to join his gym. Um, and he helps her train and work out. They're in forced proximity with each other and have to put their hands on each other, which is really great. <laughs> and you wouldn't think that there's a fate mate aspect in here, but there is, and I'm going to, not spoil that for you because it was a little bit of a surprise to me but there is a fate of me aspect in this book that i just really enjoyed and this one was super fun and amazing read that i cannot shut up about honestly so then we have two like paranormally romances for you first is stalked by the kraken by lillian lark this is the romance between gideon and rose gideon is actually a kraken shifter and he's at this i think like diner one day and he ends up across like scenting his mate one day and he's like oh my gosh where's this woman i need to find her and he ends up across Rose, who is a witch, and she's also a matchmaker. She match, match makes, makes matches between other paranormal creatures to find like the love of their life. And so Gideon ends up like stalking Rose for a little bit because he's really shy and like doesn't really know how to approach asking her out or like revealing to her that they're faded mates. Like he does not know how to go about that. He thinks like the best way to do this is to like go into her matchmaking business and it's like, hey, I want to be matched up with somebody. <laughs> um, and so she's like, okay, great, I'll match up with somebody. Um. Here's a, give me all your information, like fill out these forms, whatever, and like tell me about yourself. And he's like, no, 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 no. I want to be matched with you specifically. Yeah. <laughs> and so they go on some dates and they explore some things. Gideon has to figure out if he can reveal that they're free to mates to her. This one was so fun. I think it's a great like start to the series. This whole series is really great by Lillian Lark. And then the last one I want to mention is by Ruby Dixon again. <laughs> um, we have her Bear Bites series, which is like the bind up is called Shift. I think the only way you can read this book, these individual books now, because our series of novellas is through this bind up called Shift. But these are all bear shifter romances that have faded mates in them. Now, I only really loved one book in this series, which is Shift Just Got Real, which is an age gap romance I've talked about quite a lot on my channel um but i love this one i give this one like four stars and i gave all the other ones like three um but this one yeah it's a fate of mate age gap romance between a bear shifter and a human woman i loved it but the series in general the whole bind up is filled with fate of mate romances maybe you will like them more than i did i gave them about like three stars each besides the one i just mentioned and so yeah, if you're wanting to check out a bear shifter series which I feel like are rare please check this one out and it's full of faded mates as well and ruby dixon just does faded mates so well anyways there you have it those are some faded mate romance recommendations for you please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things that's okay you can leave me a bear emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i'll see y'all in my next one bye y'all wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day Wake up.
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.